If it's not yet, when does this become a crisis? Uh, because it's only going to be a few weeks, maybe a month here before schools start to uh, miss out on some funding that they should be getting. They may have to borrow money, which is expensive. Um, and I and I say, when does it become a crisis? Because it doesn't seem like anyone's acting like it is. And I include the folks all over the state, because when I'm out there mixing with the people, I don't hear anybody talking about this, which yeah. I find unusual. Well, I think there are two crises we ought to talk about. One is, is yeah, their short-term pain by not having uh, a budget. And the longer this goes, <clears throat> the more people will feel pain. I think there are not too many people feeling the pain right now, and I'm doing everything I can to mitigate that, that pain. But the second crisis that I think we really ought to be conscious of is, is the future of Pennsylvania. And we are really in crisis right now. Uh, and if we keep doing <clears throat> what we've been doing in the past, taking money out of our schools, having property tax rates go through the roof, uh, and uh, basically having a financial foundation that is not very strong, that's not a that that is a big, big long-term crisis. Let me just give you one example. Uh, the budget secretary last week uh, gave me a, a, a note that showed that right now we're paying a premium on our debt of about 85 basis points, soon to be about 100 basis points, 1%. That's the premium we're paying mm -hmm. over states with a AAA rating because we don't have a AAA rating. And we've been downgraded how many times? Five times last? just last year. Yeah. Well, by three different agencies, Fitch, mm -hmm. Standard and & Poor's, and, and I guess uh, Moody's. Moody's, yeah. So um, that has costs. You know, people read about that and say, well, what does that have to do with me? Well, here's what it has to do with you. 100 basis points is 1%. Right now, we're borrowing about 12.9, I think, $17 billion directly, and that's not including some of the other funds. So I'm being conservative here. $17 billion, we're paying an extra point penalty, just like if you borrow money and you have a bad credit score, you pay a little more than somebody else with a good credit score. We're paying a penalty of about a point for a bad credit score. That's $170 million in extra interest we're paying every year. That's $170 million we could be spending on education. That's $170 million we could be given for tax relief. That's $170 million we're spending because we don't have our house, our financial house in order. So that's a crisis that I'm focused on. And so I, I, I want to mitigate to the extent possible the short-term inconveniences of, of doing this. But I want to stand my ground and say we need a real budget.